Sunday. You're probably wondering why you've just seen a montage of breakfast, and that's because if you haven't had um, fried straz in your breakfast, I really recommend you do it now. When I met my girlfriend, she did it for me, and I'm like, uh, my reaction was like, I'll try it, but I don't know if I'll like it. And I've never looked back, it's quite lovely. So breakfast is the most important meal of the day and we're gonna try and do some things today. So that's why you've seen us having brekkie. You should try it, let me know in the comments if you like it, I genuinely recommend it. It's lovely, it's freaking delicious. So yeah, just cut your Straz slices. They call it Straz everywhere. Okay. If you're weird and you call it something else, it's obviously not gonna be Straz. And you gotta get the block, you can't get the slices right. Yeah. You gotta get the block and cut it and fry it and then legit let me know in the comments if you like it or if you hate it, you might be weird, but um, yeah. After this, we are gonna go for a skate down to our local coffee shop, have a coffee and talk about what we're gonna do for the day and then we're gonna get it done. And if you're still watching, good on you. Is it moonlight? Yeah. Yep, just one of them. Yeah. And that's it, thanks. This is um, do you want a city or take a Yeah, city. Yeah, we are. 3, 2, 1, wait, it's not a race. Are you talking? Yeah. Alright, One's about two coconutty, but one about that drunk. Nice and close to walk down to. And there's like a cool door up there that they've used as a shelf. Yeah, we're planning what we're doing for the day. We have to paint our screen. Oh, can I interrupt? I brought my car with me. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, after you rudely interrupted me. Yeah. We have to paint a screen, ready to make a screen. We have to print the design for the screen. Do you like the design? Yes. What do you think of it? I like it. Look at this half truck! How big is that? That's fucking mint! Huh? I'm not? Look! It must be. Oh yeah, that hanging rock car show, there's all these cool cars coming through town. So we kind of won there, didn't we? Yeah. And no, I wasn't trying to be slight. Why fucking left it? That's the guess. Details have been a bit fine, I'll show you that in a sec. So what we do pretty much is jump in the laundry, so you clean up easy, I get a bit of just newspaper, and then the screen. And what, we, what you want to do is, this is the emulsion, so this is Key Rope Hole 225 WR. I have used, I've had this in the fridge, so if you buy this new you'll have to mix in the um, sensitizer and that, but this is already pre-mixed and I've pulled it out of the fridge. Um, so I've used the, oh my god, I've used the speedball stuff, I actually prefer that, but I'm always trying to trust different stuff. Um, that is well stuck on there. Oh my god. Is that one of our spoons? Yeah. 
but I clean it. I'm a minimalist, I can't buy another spoon. You have your own spoon. No. Yes, you do. There's one of them in the printing box. Well, you put it somewhere. It's in the printing box. So anyway, once you finally un undo that, give it a good stir. Um, I'm, no, I'm no pro, this is just what I've sort of learned. Um, and I always grab a small spoon so I don't over applicate. If you put too much on, oh, do you remember when we put too much on Taylor and it was just like... Yes, and it ruined things in my cupboard. Oh uh, yeah. Yes, I remember. It, it'll dry all clumpy, yeah, nah, just don't put too much on. So give it a mix and then I normally put a bit of this emulsion stuff on. You don't, and you can always put on more, but it's pretty hard to take it off, I suppose. Um, so we'll do that, and then I've got this squeegee. I don't know where I got it from, but it's pretty good. You can get proper applicators and stuff, but that's not what I've got. So, um, yeah, don't try and use a credit card because it just doesn't work. I was in a rush once to get some stuff done and used a credit card. And um, that was a Medicare card because it had my excess name on it. And I was like, fuck it. And um, so, as you can see, I need to add more, which is fine. Um, if you do put too much on, just keep scraping it and scraping it and then clean the scraper. But um, what you want is a really thin um, layer on there. So. Once you cover the whole thing, just keep going over and over it and just make sure it's nice, perfect level. Which, this screen has been absolutely trashed because I've tried to do a few um, things on it. So, you want to keep it all the same thickness so that when you cure it, it's got, it all cures at the same rate and stuff like that. That sounds smart, but really, it's not. And then, yeah, I just like to finish it, the last one. On the face. And then, that's pretty much it. I could probably take a little bit more of that if you wanted to. Pretty good to me. It's a couple of lines down there. See that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll um so you can like air dry these or people say you can dry them in an hour, but I always leave it like between eight and twenty-four hours and just go to work the next day and come back and it should be done. So just chuck it in a cupboard. We'll let it cure and start our other jobs. And then one other thing I recommend is, um, <clears throat> yeah, one other thing I recommend, which is Taylor, I don't know if you showed me or not, but to wipe it all down with newspaper first. It just makes, you can just throw the paper you don't have a heap of um, cloth to like clean up and stuff. You've still got to clean it, but it's not as goopy. And then you gave your spoon back, Taylor. Okay, you can use your printing spoon next time. Yeah. yeah. May have had like a three hour snooze, but um, anyway, the past couple of weeks I've sandblasted a. Hmm, maybe I need to go a bit further than that. So, uh, when I was in the factory, I got a engine stand second hand for like 90 bucks. I think that's pretty good because I've used it and um, like new, they're like, I think they're about 350 So, that was cool and all. And it got a bit scabby and orange, so I decided to take mine apart and powder coat it. Um, just black because it, it was looking real orangey and shit. Actually, you'll see the rim because I didn't powder coat the rim. Um, if you guys are going to do it, it's probably it's a lot of effort sandblasting it because there's you know a lot of pieces and stuff like that. So um, 
that's one thing but yeah this you can I probably wouldn't recommend doing it again because it was a lot of blasting and that for such you know just something like this so um, yeah but all these have been in the back of my car all week and every time I turn a corner it's been like St John's Cathedral Dong! the wedding ceremony um, bells so I thought today would be a good time to oh that sound can you imagine that times 10 when you go around a corner very slow so yeah we're just gonna put it together and then hopefully this screen will be right for us hopefully the screen will be right for us to do it going to powder coat this one other thing not don't worry about powder coating is well I didn't do it is um, the hook because when the weight of the chain you know works on it it'll just crack away the powder coating so I just plan on spray painting that and whenever it gets a bit shabby I'll just hit it again Um, that's done now. It looks so much better than it used to. It used to be all this chalky orange colour. I'm really kicking myself on this category now, so I think I'll either tidy it up and spray paint it or in the future take the take the cylinder out, replace the seals and powder coat the barrel. But um, yeah, as you can probably see, we haven't done the wheels because I forgot a few weeks ago when I pulled it apart that some of the bolts broke and the ones that are remaining are pretty shit. So and what do you reckon? Do you reckon it's pretty good? Yeah, it looks so much better. Like. because it's inside the Wi-Fi and shit. So yeah, spare room, sausage dog, another sausage dog, cactus, you get the gist, couple of hours, and oh, my lowrider trophy. 
And um, anyway, why I'm talking to you about this is because I'm using the Canon PicSmart. I think it's like an MG660. It's like the old $59 special from Kmart. And so I've used the clear transparent paper and put it on the glossy settings. And I've had no trouble in the past. I've printed this just then. Uh, that's my logo. And it prints it just fine. And then, to these bigger ones before, but obviously that one hit the ground and the ink's gone everywhere, so, um, oh, um, yeah, but anyway, so, just printed this two seconds ago, it was really good, and then, well, not two seconds ago, a while ago, but, um, I tried to expose the screen, and it didn't work because it's just too fine, because the lines are nearly finer than the mesh in the screen. So if you guys are doing this at home, just be wary. You can print on these printers. Actually, I'm just a novice, so you can probably do a whole heap of shit. But anyway, I've found out you can print on these printers, but sometimes it doesn't work. And to trick it, if it doesn't work, is I'll print, select two copies and put a paper one first, followed by a clear one, and that seems to trick it. But anyway, so I just printed these literally two seconds ago, and to make it thicker so that you could, uh, we could expose it. Gone real blotchy and shit. And it never really dried. See that? So, um, I suppose, so that's a bit of a fail, but I'll endeavor to make it better and do another YouTube video when I actually figure out what the go is. So if you guys want to print shirts, I would just recommend going to Officeworks and getting them to print on the transparency and uh, yeah, it'll be much better unless you fork out and get a fully sick printer. But if it's the middle of the night, you need to get a, get a printer at Kmart like it, I did, you can do it. So anyway, because this one worked, because this one worked, we'll go uh, screen print two shirts and finish off this vlog here. There, we'll finish it there. Yeah. There's no time for sticking around. Alrighty, so this is the screen I was telling you about. This is the one we exposed that earlier. And um, as you can see, it was an old screen and I thought that the emulsion remover helped clean the screen, or I said screen cleaner, and it ruined my old screen, which as you can, I don't know if you can see, there's a bigger circle like there and um, so that used to be some, like a bigger one for hoodies and stuff. Um, so the green, I don't even see the different colours, but anyway, the green emulsion, I tried, uh, what is it? Speedball emulsion, and didn't have any dramas. And then this new one that I've got, which is that purpley colour, is in this Keyword Cole 225R. Uh, I just wanted to try something different. There was no reason to switch from Speedball, but I probably won't do it again. I think Speedball was a bit easy. Well, I had better results with it, so whether that's my operating or not. But um, yeah, so, well, just these couple of prints have just been experimental, been given away a few shirts and stuff, so we'll see how it goes now. So that's why I should always do test bits. This is just a bit of cardboard, but you can see there's a little shallow piece in the helmet and a little shallow bit uh, just on the circle there. I'm still going to screen print because I feel like doing it tonight, but um, basically that's why you always do test pieces because if that was on your garment, it would be stuffed. Also, it's another reason you put something down in between the layers of the clothing, which you've probably heard a thousand times, is so that you don't get bleed through onto the garment, and this just shows this garment bled through a lot. That's like nearly a whole design that would probably be on the inside of the back of the shirt and be all filth, so that worked. Yeah, so I just do my own shirts for like Instagram giveaways and stuff. All the stuff that I sell, I actually get a proper shop in Fitzroy to do it. But uh, yeah, if you want, you want to get into this kind of stuff, it's easy, guys. It's just heaps of fun. Like, even though I knew there was going to be a bit blotchy, I still just wanted to do it. And, um, yeah, so just do it. And anyway, I went to Spotlight the other day, got a skate deck. So I just want to show you guys maybe how to or how to not screen print a skate deck. I'm just going to use this same screen and see if it goes on. If it does, that's good. And if it doesn't, 
we'll do something else next week. Actually worked, how cool is that? I only use white ink because I didn't want to like get get more stuff dirty and stuff. But um yeah, so back in the day, skateboards were screen printed and the actual screens were shaped like the deck. So it would have taken a bit of talent to like screen it because uh, actually even when I did this I noticed that the kick, or well, probably probably because I didn't have a bench, but the kick of it flicked the skateboard up a little bit. But um yeah, so nowadays it's mostly the, the the ink is printed on a clear film and then that's heat pressed onto the skate deck. So it's like um, like your iron on vinyl except the iron on print. But um, back in the OG days they did actually screen print decks. So yeah, I want to try and I want to try and um, maybe have some fun with this in the future. But that's my vlog wrapped up. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the views. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe. Whatever. Uh, or if you've got any questions or insults or whatever, just hit me up in the in the messages below. And um, yeah, click the bell for my weekly upload notifications and we'll see you guys around.